So for this VoiceWise deep dive, we are looking at a 64-year-old female who presented with knee pain, difficulty losing weight, and blurry vision. Oh. <laughs> All right, so if you're looking at your VoiceWise report, you're gonna see that your uh, executive summary is the same, it is for everybody, but on the summary of results, there are gonna be certain areas that look different. In this example, we've highlighted a lot of the areas that are dynamic. Um, and this means that it'll change for you based on your results. So this gives you just kind of an overall snapshot of what came up as the areas that require the most support. So we'll always be listing the top three, you know, organs or systems that might be impacting, uh, you know, bullet point two and bullet point three and bullet point four. Uh, now, on yours, you might see pH environment come up twice. The reason why on number four here, pH environment is not highlighted is because that's really not dynamic. It's always there because we found that the pH, we always want to kind of see a cursory look of what's going on with the pH environment, no matter no matter what. pH is a really good indicator of potential disease states because the body has to be alkaline except for stomach acid, but the rest of the body, all the fluid has to be alkaline in order for you to maintain good health. So when the body starts getting too acidic, that's something that needs to be addressed so that disease states don't develop or occur. Now for us to dive into this, now let's just give you one nuance to just start off with. One nuance is the fact that you have pH environment and you have heavy metal toxicity is one of the major influences for pH environment. And as you can recall here, one of the things was knee pain. That's one of the uh, best places that the body puts heavy metals is behind the knees. Yeah. So there's so there's a lot of potential there. And obviously the weight and not being able to lose it, there's also a possible indication of, of that. And I think those things combined with what's probably going on in the body is what's creating the, the blurry vision. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, again, pH can show up twice. It could show up in bullet point number two or three. This is going through 10 systems. Bullet point two and three are, are looking at just the top two systems, but there's 10 total systems that it can move through. So just like on bullet point one, it says the first pillar of health is hydration. So we're always looking at the lowest percentage, lowest uh, kind of health score for that pillar. And there's four other pillars that we'll kind of show you. But this is just a cursory look of like what's going on, uh, just to kind of give you a heads up before you really kind of get into the nitty gritty. And then we provide a key so that you can refer back to this whenever you need to. Um, you'll notice that everything that comes up on your report is from a zero to 100 scale. We're really looking at supporting anything that comes in under 50%. If it's over 50%, it's not usually where we want to focus first. And it, this test is unique because it measures both emotional and physical influences. And that's really important because if you have uh, something that's emotionally based, that it's impacting an organ, say, for example, the liver, if you have a lot of anger and it's stuck in the liver, you can do physical remedies all day long, but it will not move the needle for that liver the same way that doing an emotional exercise to clear the energy of the liver could help. And we've seen this in our practice over and over and over again, where someone comes with issues in an organ and they've done labs, they've done all this extensive background and they've tried all these different things and nothing seems to functionally, according to the labs, quote unquote, uh, improve that particular organ. And then we ask them to do something really simple, like say a prayer of love over that organ and release whatever emotion that may be stuck there. And by doing that, we actually see in the lab work, the numbers of those organs improve in dramatic ways that we were never able to touch with physical remedies. Now, when it comes to the eyes, let's just say it was physical and emotional. So something that you can do is you can move your hands like so, right? So you can Rub them back and forth. Create friction and it will heat up. And when you do that, you're going to put it over your eyes, right? The palms, and you're going to put it and you'll feel the warmth and that will be soothing. So what you could do is you could do that, right? Because it's a physical thing. Mm -hmm. And then you can say a prayer over your eyes because again, eyes is usually connected to liver and that's dealing a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times with an angry emotion, like an anger type. Anger, frustration. frustration. Yeah. 
And then we also want to know if things are acute or chronic. Uh, chronic is more common, especially the longer you've been on planet Earth. And acute is usually something that's more recent. So here are your five pillars of health on this third page. We're looking at oxygen, hydration, your mouth, your nutrition, and your emotions, because all five of these pillars can affect multiple areas and systems of the body at once. But as you can see, all of these scores, like we said before, right? Anything below 50%, but as you can see, most of these, or not most, all of these are above 50%. Yep. And so what we wanna, you know, if you're a user, you definitely want to look at some different patterns. For example, one pattern is the fact that kidneys comes up twice. Yeah. So you really want to pay attention regardless of the score if something comes up multiple times. So you definitely want to pay attention to that. And I would definitely, even if it was above 50%, you got to remember this is a snapshot of what's going on and what needs the most support. So I wouldn't take that as, oh, I don't need to do much. I would still look at doing hydration. And the cool part is that you have ways to immediately improve it. Immediate action steps. And these are different on depending on your report, your yeah. results. Um, and the other thing is, obviously, if you have any symptoms, like this individual came to us with blurry eyesight. So the fact that eyes came up on a pillar makes it really easy for us to say, oh, okay, that's, that's a great place to start. If she's really focused on the blurry vision, then let's look at the nutrition. And we even created a really easy way for you guys to do that and see these connections at home. And that's through the glossary of terms. And we'll get right to that. And I just want to say before we move to the glossary of terms is let's just take, I just want to walk you down how this works. Nutrition can affect eyes because, right, you're trying to absorb all the nutrition that you're taking in. And some of that has to circulate to the eyes so that it can feed the eyes. So you, it's so funny that you have nutrition going to the eyes, then you have circulation, right? Where there's, that's the major problem within the pillar of the mouth, which again, you're looking at the head, right? Cause you're looking at the mouth. So you're talking about circulation up in here. And then the kidneys are interesting because obviously they filter the blood and they help the circulation so that all the nutrients can get to where it needs to get to. And then obviously the eyes and the brain are hugely connected because all the information that comes in from the eyes gets translated to the brain so that it can signal down to all the organs. So this literally it, in every way possible uh, <laughs> is, related to is, is related to eyes. Yeah. Uh, so it's just really interesting that it, it not only came up, but everything seems to very directly, not indirectly, very much directly connect because uh, not every time all of the organs underneath the pillar. It's not connect. usually so concentrated all above the head like that, but in this case, it absolutely is. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to, to get to all the, to get to the glossary, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to click on where it says, click here for full list of health resources. It's on your last page. It will take you to this pretty big list and growing every day of items. You're going to click on the first one that says glossary of terms for pillars of health with the voice wise report. When you click on that, it will open up this document, right? So because this person really wanted to focus on eyes, then that's where I would go, right? So we'd go to nutrition, we'd go to eyes, we'd left click it, left click it again, and it's going to take you all the way down there and it'll allow you to kind of read and really connect with nutrition and eyes specifically. So all these are very specific to the thing. So if you see um, multiple organs come up for different pillars. Those are all different and unique mm -hmm. on the description on how it connects to that specific pillar. And you can go to this glossary and look at each one if you want to. And then the other cool thing is it gives you recommendations. I mean, a lot of good recommendations to start making changes immediately with nutrition and your eyes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to, right, you could also, again, deep dive into the kidneys. So we're going to scroll all the way back up. And I believe it was hydration hydration and emotions. Uh, right? Yeah. Yeah. And again, right? Adequate water intake helps prevent, right? We know this. But the cool thing is, is here, it's going to, again, give you different things like herbal teas, hibiscus, nettle, right? I mean, limiting the consumption of dehydrating substances like caffeine, salt. And we're really talking about table salt, not like Icelandic. Not a salt or... that has good minerals in it. We're talking about a 
iodized salt that is devoid of any nutritional value. <laughs> yeah. So that's, you know, so this document allows you to really deep dive into literally any organ that is going to be associated with that pillar on that uh, third page. So then we go into which systems need the most support. In this example, it is the nervous system and the lymphatic system. And both of them came up as being more emotional than physical. And then it also goes through and says exactly what areas are being influenced. So with the nervous system, it's the parasympathetic and the sympathetic nervous system. That means their entire autonomic nervous system, because that contains both of those two systems, their entire autonomic nervous system is out of balance. This speaks to a lot of emotional stress. Um, and then temporal lobe, uh, that also speaks to emotional stress. And again, it's above the neck. It's in the head. And, like and the temporal lobe is the... is your, uh, it, it, it does languages. It does um, uh, processing emotions and regulating emotions. So, I mean, the fact, again, that kidneys came up twice, it came up under emotions. Uh, the fact that your nervous system's coming up and it's your parasympathetic and your sympathetic. <laughs> I mean, so this speaks to a lot of deep stress. And, and it says that it's emotional, right? And you can see that from the orange bar graph on look how lower that is than the physical. So you really want to focus your nervous system, maybe uh, take some baths, um, do some- Make uh, a, a nourishment menu, make a list of things that you really menu. enjoy that feed your soul and stick it on your fridge and 10 minutes a day, do at least one thing on that list. Because most likely the blurred vision is going to be coming from all the other factors that are um, showing up on this report. You know, and as we know that any symptom that comes up for you, 90% of the time, that symptom, that's not where it's really originating or starting. It, it's starting somewhere else in the body. And the, and the cool part about it is if you want a resource, you know, instead of having to look through this entire list of resources to figure out what would help the nervous system, we did the work for you by giving you a resource dedicated to that system, right? And you'll see it again here under the lymphatic system. Yep. And then with the lymphatic system, that makes a lot of sense for this individual because um, lymph is very tied to weight and weight gain and weight loss and things like that. It's your lymphatic system is your highway that the trash guys use to transport toxins and things out of the body. And if it's backed up, even for emotional reasons, then it starts sticking things in lymph nodes. And the inguinal lymph is your lymphatics that are um, essentially along your groin line, which if that gets backed up can lead to things like pelvic toxicity, increase your risk of yeast infections, um, for men, it can cause ED to occur. Um, you know, there's... And again, because of where it's positioned and that blockage, mm -hmm. you're also looking at the emotional component and connections to that, it being down there, right? right? Uh, the other unique thing about this is the bone marrow. The bone marrow also, uh, bone marrow is, and the kidneys is what produces red blood cells. Yeah. So again, here's another connection to the kidneys with the bone marrow, right? So it's like, oh man, you know, so right now, I'm looking at, you know, really wanting to support those kidneys physically and emotionally in a lot of ways. And then that's mm -hmm. um, confirmed even further because the most impactful factor, which means what is one thing that's affecting multiple systems at the same time, the most impactful factor was circulation. And circulation is a common theme and a common thread through eyes, through kidneys, through brain, through all of these things that have come up for this individual. Yeah. And again, there's a resource dedicated to whatever the most impactful factor is. Yeah. So again, you got a lot of so you got several places yeah. where you can start diving into things that are specifically going to support you and your results. And then this next page is just for fun. This is um, especially helpful. We found for people who are doing multiple reports, like one every month, because then they can put this page side by side and see how their body has shifted in different ways, because we measure um, the other eight systems on this page. And then the last page is a very specific breakdown uh, that goes organ by organ. That way you can look and see, for example, what is your lowest percentage score? And then you can also see if something comes up as, phys um, as either significant or strong on the emotional or the physical side. 
as you can see highlighted under the breast example here. Or under the mouth, there's significant or under the physical. Mouth. So when yeah. it's significant, it means there's a huge uh, drop in the percentage for emotion if we were just to look at the emotional scores. Mm -hmm. So this score right here that's in front for these organs are taking all of the physical aspects and all the emotional aspects to give you a total health score for that component. Yeah. So in this case, if it's 60% as a total health score, then most likely on the emotional side being significant, it's going to be in the 40s if you were just looking at the emotional side. So again, it just um, gives you a bit more detail of really, if you focus in this arena, this is going to give you the best results for yeah. shifting, and, and shifting whatever's going on. And this is just for you to have, again, another layer of trying to do and make changes, right? So you can take the lowest scores and you can go to this uh, resource. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, huge list, right? Of all these different resources to help you move through almost any aspect of the report. And we keep building more. Um, and every week we are going through a different organ, right? So we're doing eyes and then, you know, next week we're doing gallbladder and so on and so forth. So, um, you and know, it's it's a great way. And notice that for this individual, they had emotion come up as their primary thing in, in a lot of these different areas. And that includes the eyes, which is their lowest score overall on this last page. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just, you know, a little breakdown of this report when it con in the context of eyes. And, and you know, we, we built resources, um, great, great resource for eyes that we'll uh, get to in just a minute. Right.